The procedure of developing a contact pattern with Aero's system is a very complex process. However, to provide a clear understanding of how the system works, we will first present the conceptual highlights of how a typical development would take place. A more detailed explanation of the steps involved will be presented in the following chapter. The process begins by Aero receiving the customer's design requirements. This would include drawings of the part detailing the critical geometry such as ratio, diametral pitch, and so on. In addition, the customer would supply specifications on operating torque and the gear displacements. Aero begins the process of contact pattern development by establishing a working file for the part based on its geometry. Using the CAGE software, a Tooth Contact Analysis Study, or TCA, is performed. This indicates the location of the contact pattern without load. The next step is to perform the loaded TCA, which predicts the contact pattern under load. Finally, a loaded TCA is performed, taking into account all the displacement conditions. Once the TCA study is performed for all displacement conditions, the ideal contact pattern is identified. With this information, a finite element analysis is performed which predicts real stress on the tooth surface as well as the root fillet. This study allows Aero's engineers to determine whether there is a potential for failure resulting from excessive or non-uniform pressures on the gear tooth. For a more detailed explanation of how the TCA and finite element studies are actually performed, please proceed to the next chapter. In this chapter, we'll present the details involved in the process of designing the contact pattern through computer modeling and how the software integrates with the machine tools. To begin, this is a summary printout of a TCA study. This particular TCA is from the PW6000 Upper Tower Gear Set. For the purpose of illustration, we will be looking at the concave gear and addressing the loaded TCA phase of the design work where the various displacement conditions were accounted for. Here you can see the contact pattern design that we created to meet the load requirements and the different displacements that the gear sets would encounter. The different displacements which were presented to us are as shown. At 3,140 inch-pounds of torque, we could have the possibility of the pinion moving above the gear by 13 thousandths the pinion going into mesh 13 thousandths, and the gear out of mesh by 12 thousandths. We have another set of circumstances where it's nearly 2 thousandths offset, pinion into mesh almost 23 thousandths, and the gear is near stationary. We have another set of circumstances where there is nearly 2 thousandths worth of offset, pinion into mesh almost 29 thousandths, and the gear into mesh 18 thousandths. Our job was to design a contact pattern that would stay on the tooth, have an acceptable shape and size, never running to the end, and meet all these different displacement conditions that the gears would experience under their normal operation. The contact pattern that we designed then met those requirements as shown. Under each requirement, you can see what the loaded TCA design contact pattern would produce as a contact. If you were to take all these contact patterns and overlay them or combine their areas of contact, you would, in essence, have a depiction of what the load zone will be for this gear set while it is in operation and encounters all of these different displacements at 3,140 inch-pounds of torque. In addition to each one of the different displacements on the contact study, we'll also look at the various pressures that are occurring along the path of engagement as the tooth comes into mesh, the path of engagement starts here. It then rolls through mesh and exits at this end. Given a load of 3,140 inch-pounds of torque, this table shows what the surface pressure is at the start of engagement, all the way through to the end of engagement. You'll see that the pressures at the start of engagement are low, which is a result of tooth sharing due to the high contact ratio. The pressures then start to climb and will reach a peak of 238,000 pounds per square inch in the center of the tooth. 
the pressures will then diminish, finally falling to nearly 84,000 where this tooth has exited from mesh. A key objective of this study is to verify that there are no hard spots occurring in the pattern. This would show as a spike in these surface pressure values. If a spike in these surface pressures is present, we have a strong indication that a failure mode may be present. As the teeth would come into mesh, the spike or ledge would create a non-uniform pressure and this would be a likely area for failure. However, in our example, the pressure values do not include any spikes. There is a gradual increase to the center of the tooth, followed by an equally gradual decrease. These gears will move in and out of mesh very smoothly. This study will be performed for all of the displacement conditions, and when complete, the design will be ready for finite element analysis. The results of the loaded TCA are first downloaded to the T900 Finite Element Analysis software. The program then performs a real stress analysis of the tooth surface. A report is generated, which through the use of different colors, shows the load distribution along the different areas of the tooth. In areas where you have immediate contact on the tooth, you see a very dark area. And then as the stresses become less, the colors change and continue out until you have a base load, which is the lowest surface pressures or stresses that will be seen on the gear tooth. A similar study is then performed on the root fillet. Again, the varying levels of stress are indicated by different colors. On the reports for both the tooth surface and the root fillet study, a bar graph is generated which specifies the corresponding pressure value. If the maximum value exceeds the rating of the material that you're using, there is a high potential that the gear will fail. Another insight that is provided by the finite element analysis is the potential for ledges or edge contacts. As was mentioned before, a dark or shaded area is an indication of the highest pressure. If the study indicates any dark areas outside the center of the contact pattern, it would suggest that a failure might occur in these areas. If the finite element study reveals any problems, we can then go back to the CAGE software and modify the contact pattern as needed, and then perform a secondary finite element analysis. Once the TCA and finite element studies are performed, and the ideal tooth contact pattern size and location is achieved, the CAGE software creates the summary settings required by the Phoenix cutters and Phoenix grinders to machine the parts. In addition, the GAGE software is used to generate the inspection file for the Zeiss Hoffler CNC inspection system. Through a hardwired network connection, both the summary settings and the inspection file are downloaded and the production process begins. We trust that you found this presentation on Aero's design and development capabilities to be of interest. Through our advanced technologies for producing gears, we can meet the most demanding quality requirements, and we do this while offering significant cost savings to our customers. Do you have a new gearing project? Do you have gearing performance problems you would like to see improved? We'd be happy to discuss any design issues with you or answer any further questions regarding our capabilities. For more information, please contact Bob Wazalewski, our Design Engineering Manager, by phone at 630-969-7640 or by email at rfwazalewski at aerogear.com.